A guy found a tiny baby animal sleeping on his bed and she's grown up to be the cutest companion All sorts of critters get inside people's homes to avoid outside disturbances But this particular visit was special there on the bed sat the most precious surprise hidden under a pillow Two animal babies nestled on the duvet, but what was their discover to do with them? One of the babies is now known as little Thumbelina and she doesn't just have a name right out of a fairy tale In fact, she has an origin that sounds just like one too But her story is true and it begins on a chilly morning in March of 2016 in New York City a Construction crew working in the city that day actually destroyed a nest belonging to Thumbelina's mother This left the creature homeless as a result However, the expecting mommy survival instincts led her to an alternate birthing spot to be more precise, the mom-to-be climbed inside a 10th-story apartment through an open window, and in the warmth and comfort of that room, she had two little pink daughters. Then she set about remaking her nest to keep the newborn safe. The apartment's resident was out when the mom visited, of course, but he saw her handiwork when he returned. Twigs, leaves, and pine needles covered his bed, after all. Yet the biggest surprise was hiding under his pillow in the form of two baby eastern gray squirrels. And although the anonymous man had no idea how to help the squirrels himself He knows someone who does so he subsequently called Christina and Michael Reyes two animal rehabilitators working in New York City You could say the husband wife team have just a little past experience in squirrel care In fact Christina had cared for orphan squirrels for 10 years Michael a high school teacher by day also assists his wife in her duties So the pair went out to try and help the squirrel babies reunite with their mother but just two hours after their birth the baby's mother was already hesitant to reclaim them It would seem that the rescuers presence and their actions to save her offspring frightened her Christina explained as much to the Daily Mail on November 6 2018 She kept bringing in nest building materials, but she wasn't taking her babies back Christina said of the mama squirrel This was despite the rehabilitators best efforts to convince her otherwise and just hours later the adult squirrel stopped visiting completely and a tragedy followed Yes, one of the little babies unfortunately passed away in her mommy's absence But the Rays couple took on the remaining sister naming her Thumbelina after the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale The rescuers intended to raise Thumb until they could reintroduce her to nature Almost all squirrels we take in are rescued and released into the wild Thumbelina's official blog explains but Thumbelina was a special case it seems that the unique circumstances of the baby squirrel's birth and the subsequent chain of events had an effect on Thumbelina The blog continued due to an abnormal birthing season and the passing of her sister Little Thumb grew up all by herself and didn't learn to interact with other squirrels By the time the normal birthing season had arrived Thumbelina had already passed the point of bonding with her kind Because of this the raised pair took little Thumbelina to a veterinarian specializing in wild animals the vets then determined that the squirrel's natural habitat was too dangerous for her Instead of opting to euthanize the baby though Thumbelina's rescuers wanted to give her a chance at life And so the Ray's family decided to adopt Thumb as a house squirrel and it's probably fortunate that they did It sounds like she would have had a potentially short life outside the safety of a human home and Thumbelina isn't what you would call a squirrel's squirrel when we tried to introduce her to other squirrel babies, she isolated herself Christina told the Daily Mail she curled up into a ball and she wanted nothing to do with them Thumb doesn't move like other squirrels either She walked on the ground Christina continued. She didn't like to climb or jump in addition Thumb's blog recounts how her development was always slow compared to other baby squirrels instead of opening her eyes at four or five weeks For example, it took Thumbelina closer to nine She's afraid of everything Christina added we brought her to the park and she acted like it was a haunted house She doesn't like the cold. She just huddles herself into a ball. She's not outside squirrel material Regardless her human mommy and daddy think she's perfect So instead of looking after thumb doing squirrely things her parents spend their time simply showering her with affection And thumb certainly enjoys cuddles with mommy and daddy she even watches TV and has a rich and expensive sounding diet of arugula sweet peas kale and avocado 
I love Thumbelina so much, Christina admitted. My husband and I knew that we never wanted children, but Thumbelina's our baby. She's my little best friend. Every day, I look forward to spending time with her. When I'm feeling low, she comes over and snuggles with me. But while Thumbelina isn't interested in the company of other squirrels, she's still doing her part for them. Thumbelina is now our little ambassador squirrel, her blog explains. She helps us to teach people how important it is to respect and be kind to all wildlife and spread the message, each little life is big to the one living it.